everybody I'm Mercedes and welcome back to my channel so this is probably gonna be the first video that I post in 2020 which is pretty sad but I am back and today I'm coming by with a natural hair video this is my natural hair and I straightened it I do have a natural hair like flat iron flat iron routine video already up on my channel but I think that was done like almost a year ago so I did just want to post another video but yeah if you guys like the results that I got flat ironing my hair and you want to see how I got this look then please stay tuned how I typically would trim my ends when I straighten my hair so usually I don't straighten my hair that often so usually I trim my ends when my hair is like wet and in its curly state I, I would usually just like stretch it out and then cut the ends that look a little raggedy but when my hair is straight I can really see what it looks like so I'm just gonna take this piece here and I'm just going to trim my ends. So I'm gonna cut like this much off. Alright, and then it just feels so much better. I'm able to straighten the ends a lot better once I actually trim them. So you can see how smooth it looks and yeah. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do as I go through section by section just to make sure that I don't have any straggly ends. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I did that really quickly. This is what happens when you trim your ends when they're not straight. I was trimming my ends last night after I took down my box braids and I was just like sectioning each section and cutting the ends where they look raggedy but this is what happened as a result of that. So it's just like very choppy 
but I'm not going to do like how I did on this side because this side is pretty much all the same length whereas on this side I had the choppy pieces yeah I don't really know how to correct this I guess I'm just gonna have to let that grow out yeah I don't really know what to do about this side hmm very disappointing because there's like pieces that are like all the way up here okay yeah so this side is looking kind of crazy but we'll be fine because I don't wear my hair out much anyway so we're good did in my last flat iron video is to add this Giovanni Frisbee Gone. It says it's a super smoothing anti-frizz hair serum. So I'm just going to take one pump. Probably should have took less than that one pump. But I'm just going to focus that on the ends and on the top of my head and hopefully that will help me to keep the ends straight for a longer time than I normally can keep them and this serum is like very lightweight so as you can see my hair still has movement after putting the serum on there so yeah so as you can see I had no problem with getting my hair pretty straight I pretty much did the followed the same routine as I did in my last flat iron video and I'm using the same flat iron this is the Paul Mitchell Neuro Smooth flat iron and I have it on 420 degrees yeah I'm really happy with my results the one thing that I'm not happy about is the length of my hair I feel like it was this same length the last time that I straightened it 
So, I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think compared to my last video. Because that last time I flat out my hair, I think it was in April of last year. So, April will be here in a couple of months. So, that was almost like a year ago. And I just don't feel like for a year's worth of time that this is significant growth I mean yeah I'm not I'm not really noticing that much of a difference <laughs> but yeah that could just be me so yeah that's pretty much it these are my results so with the help of my mom I actually ended up cutting some more in the back after looking in the mirror but what I did realize is that although the front of my hair doesn't really look like it's growing the back definitely is and I'm not really sure why that's happening but I'm gonna turn around again I have a different shirt on so you guys can probably see it better but yeah I'm gonna turn around and show you what it looks like from the back actually had to cut some in the back as well because it was like the middle part was just like much longer and then it was looking a little bit thin so I had to cut that as well yeah so I don't really know what's going on with my hair at least it looks good flat iron but I definitely would like for it to look a lot longer in the front I'm wanted to get like boob length so like down here somewhere and it's just not making it there so I don't really know what I need to do if you have any suggestions or any thoughts about why maybe the front of my hair isn't growing as fast as the back part let me know but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. But yeah, so that's all I had to say about that. Again, thank you guys for watching this video and definitely join me for the next video. All right, guys, see you next time.